Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today we're going to be building a Chrome extension. We're going to be designing this Chrome extension and building this Chrome extension without any type of, you know, manual design tools or any, you know, coding involved. It's all going to be with AI and with no code tools. So in today's video, I'm just going to show you how you can easily draft up some ideas and how you can design and kind of build out these Chrome extensions using cursor and testing them out inside of your Google Chrome. So you can, you know, eventually use them for your own workflows or even add them to the Chrome web store eventually if you want to. So usually when I'm in a site that I really like, um, or when I'm curious about something, something data related, basically, I have a few plugins up here that I usually use on a daily basis, right? Sometimes I'm curious to see, you know, what the site was built with, right? I have two Chrome extensions for that. I have this one called Built With, and I have this one called WAP, uh, uh, W App Analyzer, I guess, um, where you can kind of see everything that it has inside of it. I also have Similar Web, which, you know, it's a kind of like an analytics tool. You get like a very basic overview of how many, of a rough estimate of, of the traffic that this site receives on a monthly basis. You get, you get to see the bounce rate, the pages per visit, monthly visits, and so on. And I also have this one called Go Full Page, which basically it takes a screenshot of the entire page. And then at the end of that, you can basically download that screenshot as a PNG, right? So those, those are pretty big, you know, Chrome extensions that, that are, you know, pretty massive tools, right? Um, a lot of engineering work behind it, behind them. But there's also a bunch of different types of very niche Chrome extensions that you should look at that just work for you know data collection or analysis on one specific niche for one specific type of industry right one example of this is email extractor and i found this on a you know i found this example on a great youtube uh, tutorial or youtube video and this is basically the video it's called a few 30k per month startup ideas from the most ma manic genius founder you've never heard of and over here we have this little section where he talks about paid chrome extensions and basically he's talking about this email extractor tool that they have around well he said around 250,000 um visitors to their to their uh you know to their chrome extension and they have around 400,000 users as you can see and they have some type of pricing model and they you know they make a good earning every month and the whole focus of their chrome extension is just is just to discover and extract email IDs from any website so you can go to one type of website and click on the Chrome extension. Let's say this yellowpages.com. And then you can basically like scrape the website and look for emails based on this specific website. And then you can export the emails um, into a TXT or a CSV file. And basically they rank first for this keyword email extractor that is very hard to rank domain. So they're ranking first for that, which gets around a, you know, 10,000 uh, per month uh, search volume from users, right? And out of these 9.9K, they get 3.3K for a value of 7.8K thousand uh, dollars for these users, right? You know, and some Chrome extensions exist to kind of help you translate um, images from text from another language, for example, or we also have other ones that, you know, do other things, select and enable right click. You can kind of see the different features that they have. And there's a bunch of other ones, a bunch of other Chrome extensions that you can look at but I tend to look at these smaller ones that kind of, you know, collect data or scrape data and kind of help you, you know, save this data or use this data in some, some certain way. And you can also see that their UI is not so impressive, right? It's something very simple, something that can kind of be built pretty easily with, with like a, some type of AI tool. So one cool way I like to get started with is something like uh, Magic Path, right? Magic Path, you can easily kind of build some type of prototype. So in this case, I want to build some type of Chrome extension that you know, it's pretty simple just to start off with, maybe something that generates text. I, I, for example, I speak different languages and I have struggles with remembering some English words here and there. So it would be nice to kind of have some type of thing that helps me prep while I'm doing research. I can I can basically read the content of, this, of a certain page and maybe, um, you know, it can generate some words based on this topic and I can read those words and kind of prep my you know, vocabulary uh, before I do my, my video. So we can build something like that. So in this case down here, we have this plus sign. We can click on the plus sign. It opens a component. As you can see, it's like this cool infinite canvas. 
and then we can write down over here what we want to build. So in this case, we can do like a, a component that generates random text, right? Click on enter. And then basically what we get is we get this no code text generator. So a digital transformation transforms business logic into collaborative team em environments, eliminating manual bottlenecks completely. So it gives me like a good way to just practice different types of vocabulary words before I, um, you know, uh, start with a YouTube video. Now, once we're happy with this little design, what we can do is we can actually bring this into cursor and start building an actual Chrome extension there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this code uh, icon up here, and then we're going to click on open in cursor, and then we're going to choose NPM, click on the copy full command. And then inside of our terminal, what we can do is we can just click here and paste this like this, make sure that this loads. And then we want to just click on enter again. And we want to name this to text dash generator generator. Perfect. Let's click on enter. It's downloading the project, installing the dependencies using yarn and which IDE would you like to open the project in? Let's choose on, let's choose cursor over here, click enter and cursor automatically opens, which is great. So we have our files over here really quick. And now what we can do is easily just tell cursor AI to just build a Chrome extension, right? So we can click on enter. And what cursor did was it created this manifest JSON file, um, which is required for any Chrome extension. Then it created this pop-up HTML file, which will serve as a user inter interface for our extension. And um, it seems pretty, you know, um, simple. We can open it up and it doesn't look like there's a lot of styling we could, you know, eventually see uh, once it's, you know, ready, but we would probably have to go back here and kind of restyle this. And we have a JavaScript file that will handle the extensions functionality. That's great and a readme file to explain how to use the extension. Cool. So now that we've done that, so to make the extension fully functional, you'll need to create icons directories and add icon files in the required sizes. So let's skip that for now. Let's just, you know, go into this as a total new, but we will eventually have to do this. So let's click on accept all. And then what we want to do is we want to open Chrome, right? Click on, on go, go to Chrome slash extensions enable developer mode on the top right and click on load unpacked and select the extension directory. So let's just do that. So I'm here in the extension. Let's click on load unpacked and let's click here on the text generator and let's click on extension, right? Click on select and we get this error, right? It says could not load icon, icon 16 PNG specified in icon. So we, we do not have these icons yet. So we need, we kind of need to, you know, upload this. So I'm not going to use any code. I'm just going to, you know, do this from a completely, um, you know, no code perspective with screenshots. I'm going to go back into cursor and I'm going to paste the screenshot back here. And let's just move this in the center for you guys. We're going to paste this and we say, we got this error. And so the error message indicates that Chrome could not load the icon file. So this icon file, this is a common issue when icon files reference in your main manifest do not exist. So how to fix, how to fix, create a folder named icons inside of your extension directory, and then add the icon files name icon 16, 48 and 128. Okay. So let's do that. Let's first create this folder inside of our extension directory. So we're going to open our finder. So let's create a new folder named icons and drag that in here. And then using a tool like Figma, you can easily create these different PNGs. Um, we can also add some type of, you know, color to these three. So not to keep them white, maybe we can make them like have like some type of gradient. So it's a little bit more fancy, like a dark gradient like this. And then what we want to do is we just want to export these three layers and let's export them into our text generator extension icons save. And then make sure to put this icon word inside of it. So it's icon 16, right? Let's just rename it like that. So rename icon 128, enter, and then we can retry. And then once we retry, we see that we have it. We have our text generator extension 1.0, a Chrome extension for generating text. And we have this strange ID, but that doesn't really matter. 
And what we can do is we can just open this and you know pin this to our browser. And now we get something much closer to actually to what we actually want, right? So we can generate a new text. And that's exactly what we want, right? We, we even ha have the nice little spacing over here. And we can, you know, again, just adjust this to our own styling. Eventually have, I don't know if we can do like some rounded text, rounded edges. I think we do, we can, as you can see. But eventually have like the styling like this and make it look more like this as possible. But yeah, guys, that was pretty much it from my side. Hope you guys enjoyed this little, you know, video. Get some inspiration out of it and actually build something um, yourself using tools like Magic Path and Cursor. You know, Cursor is just a such a powerful, you know, tool to to build stuff. Right? You can build anything from simple landing pages to Chrome extensions to mobile apps. Right? So um, it does. You you will be exposed to some code as we just saw, but you can use this this agent on the side. Right? It's best to kind of read through everything and build simple things like this and kind of understand the whole file structure and everything that's being built. I think that's kind of like the best way to actually learn something. You know, when I started learning, you know, tools like Webflow or Framer, um, I the best way for me to learn was actually downloading templates and using component libraries and seeing how people would actually build out these templates um, sustainably and, and in a good way. And that kind of gave me the, you know, knowledge of how to build out like that. And, and, I, and I take kind of like the same method over here with Cursor. I try to use AI to kind of build something and read what they're building and then do it from scratch. And they're going to deliver another type of, um, you know, another type of solution. But you can kind of get the, the patterns and, and then kind of understand how it all works. So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.